As the climate emergency escalates, the distribution, timing, and quality of water will become increasingly uncertain and unpredictable. And with that, there will be implications for livelihoods, health, food, energy production, and environmental sustainability. You have a climate crisis that is compounding and exacerbating uh, existing, you know, humanitarian uh, risk, conflict, and disease. And Average humanitarian crisis now lasts more than nine years, while the average duration of humanitarian displacement is 17 to 20 years. The link um, uh, between uh, development agencies and uh, humanitarian agencies is key and that water is a fundamental piece for that. I would say that one of the most critical issues is ensuring local ownership of the solutions to mitigate and adapt to climate and water crisis. We have to be far more intentional in promoting equity, inclusion, and locally led development principles. We should now you know, promote the discourse of sharing the benefits rather than dividing the resource. So how can we share the benefits of joint water governance? We do have shortages of water, but there's a lot of mismanagement happening. And if we can address those um, areas where we are poorly managing our water, improving our governance, I guess that's the future. I think the early warning systems are very important and must be developed and strengthened. And this is especially true in the, in the case of transboundary cooperation. A prioritization of investment in more efficient water management, use and water storage will definitely pay dividends in terms of durable, scalable and successful adaptation. And more sustainable water management practices can also help reduce poverty, promote gender equality, and ensure that youth have a seat at the table when it comes to water decision making in their communities. The climate crisis is a water crisis. The time for action is now.